Yo, what is up everyone, this is your boy Nemesis and welcome to another tips and tricks tutorial video and today my boys we're looking at none other than Mr. Bob Richards himself. Now again, disclaimer for anyone who's new to my channel or watching the video for the first time, these are not beginner guide tutorials, these are simply tips and tricks tutorials it's a tips and tricks video so what what it means by that is i won't be showing you like the basics of the character like you know how to get into bob and stuff like that if you have some experience with bob or you've played him or you main him i'm just giving you some tips and tricks of how to use this character something to add on to your gameplay so again it's not a tutorial guys so if you're looking for a beginner's guide this is not it now i've noticed all my tutorials usually go over 40 minutes so i'm gonna try to speed run this or giving you as much information as possible so i might be talking fast as shit i just hope you'll be able to keep up with me i would love to make this at least under 30 minutes 30 minutes max but with the editing and everything else it usually ends up going even to an hour so you know it is what it is all right so getting into bob character overview bob is like a pseudo mishima basically has a wave dash he has a hell sweep and he has an electric now season four basically a self version of an electric he has a wave wave mix not as strong as the mishimas because those can launch you with the 50 50 but he has some awesome 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 mids probably one of the best mids in the game so with bob he's kind of an aggressive character a defensive character and a high risk high reward character high risk high reward with the hell sweeps and everything you are going to get launched uh it's kind of defensive with the raw we'll talk about this uh the magic four the down forward one you know and he's very aggressive with his down forward one extensions and his jabs one of the best jabs in the game so that's pretty much bob in a nutshell if you love bob this is the place to be if you're thinking of picking up bob don't hesitate pick this man up he is godlike in season four without further ado my boys let's get right into it okay so number one we have counter circle forward one which is pretty much bob's electric let's get the meat and the potatoes out of the way asap now this move is basically an electric guys so the tips i can give about this move is just use it like an electric it launches on hit uh, in neutral it's got almost like non-existent whiff recovery you're rarely going to get launched for throwing this move out guys it's busted it's hella busted this is on four i mean it's it's just an electric it's i don't know how else to explain it it's basically you know the bob cheapest version of an electric you get awesome damage using this move look at that that's over 80 damage and that's pretty much it this move should always be in your arsenal guys um it's basically a neutral tool basically telling the opponent to get back stay the fuck out you know uh zoning tool uh there aren't many situations you use it as a frame trap so like i said just think of it as an electric but if you'd like to know how i use this move usually um i love using using it after something like you know down for uh while standing four i love doing this boom do that because one thing i love about this move is that because you can use it after you um after a wave dash it realigns so you're basically not stepping this move so let me just show you guys what i mean uh what the hell standing for boom nani dude hello boom see that you're not stepping this move so it's not a frame trap guys it's basically just a a spacing tool bob has one of the best spacing tools in the game because of this buff in season four so it's really good to use it after forward four after all standing four it's good to use it after uh forward forward two i'll explain about this when i talk about forward forward two basically it's skip out guys nani there we go um it's just basically a keep out tool launch on hit there's no reason why you do not want to throw it out so this is basically forward neutral quarter circle forward one guys okay number two we have forward forward two now this is one of my 
favorite thing of Bob's. First of all, it looks sick. Like the animation on Block is insane. That's one of the main reasons I love Bob. Like Bob has one of the cleanest animations in this game. And to be honest with you, I really hope he makes it for Tekken 8 because I really love his design. Um, his animation, sorry. His design is kind of dumb, but you know, it is what it is. The animation is beautiful. The stagger on Block, just dude, the power on this thing is crazy. So anyway, this is basically just, you know, a poking tool. If you want to go in safe with no huge risk, this is your move. This is your move. It's amazing. And one thing I love about it on block is that it's got different, you can do it at different ranges and it gives you different like ranges. I don't know how to explain it. Like depending on the distance on how far you use it, it gives you a different range on block, like depending on how close you are to the opponent. For example, if I do it from point blank range here, it leaves me at this distance, which is basically jab range, okay? Range zero, jab range. If I do it from somewhere, from here like this, look at that. That's basically range one. So a jab from here is whiffing. Now this, this is why this move is so good, because it's basically like kind of a frame trap, depending on the distance. Guys, believe me, do not sleep on this move, and I'm going to go deeper in this move. So this move is weak to, the, to sidestep right. Be careful. Be very careful, actually, because at high level, this is getting stepped. So I'm um, just throw out a jab so I don't get my timing wrong. Okay. I went left, honey. Look at that. Literally go to his back. It's horrible. The tracking is horrible, but because you have a wave dash, let me show you guys this. Um, boom. Did I do that right? Let's see, let's see we'll find out. Uh, you see, it kind of realigns. That's a good thing about having a wave dash. Wave dashing pretty much realigns you in the opponent's face. Let's see if I can show you guys. Look at that. Because you have a wave dash, you have a high chance of realigning um, yourself with the opponent, making this move pretty much a homing move. So I advise you to always try to use this move after a wave dash, at least one wave dash. Do this if your opponent is really good at stepping, guys. Like, you're facing some high level shit. Like, a top ass player is gonna, definitely gonna step this. So this is when you wanna use this, because to mid, beginner, intermediate level, bro, ain't no one stepping this move. <laughs> this move is basically cancer on block. That's some tips about fart fart 4 on how to use it uh, in the neutral. So now, let's talk about what I was talking about, like the ranges and shit. Okay, so one of the best things about this move I explained earlier is it's like kind of like a pseudo frame trap. So let me show you guys what I'm talking about. So I'll do this into down for a two. Okay, now at point black range, I'm interrupting this. Now, if I, if I get hit by, if I block this move at a certain range, Look at that. Did you see that? Ah, mistimed it again. Look at that. This is what makes forward forward to a godlike move with Bob. You just have to make sure you're getting your spacing right, guys, or else you're the one who's going to get counter hit. So you can you can do stuff like this to down forward two. You can do forward forward two to magic four. Forward forward two to the jab the jabs or you know one four or the jabs or one down four this move is amazing gents it's amazing and if you're a ball player i know you know that this move is amazing and what i love doing is if i'm very close to the opponent at certain times if i'm like point blank range after doing this thing i just love using the raw the raw is kind of like a cheaper skbd because usually when you when you do this move the opponent expects you to respect them afterwards because you basically lose your turn so they initiate a lot of pressure on you if you just stand there like so you just usually throw this to, th to you do this to throw them off you know forward forward two just roll back they whiff a lot of stuff boom you whiff punish them trust me guys it works trust me i've played a lot of bob you can check out my channel trust me so this is very good uh, you can do forward forward two to size the point plus two but it's risky 
um so depending on the ranges guys depending on the ranges you're better off just blocking uh most of the times if you're point blank range so that's pretty much fought fought two on block let's talk about fought fought two on hit because fought fought two on hit has amazing oki so the standard bob oki of course is this fought fought two to the super sized missile this is basically you no know, amazing oki too you basically can't do anything about this except from rolling on the ground and doing an instant all standing fall from face down so let me show you guys what i mean that so i my bad there we go that's the punish for that you can also avoid it by rolling Uh, nani, I rolled the wrong way. Nani, oi, Bob, hello. There we go. Otherwise, it's you're blocking this. If they don't press anything, you're blocking this. So now the best way is to counter this. The first one, if you want to counter the, you know, the face down instant or standing four, is the electric. So forward, forward two, dash up electric. Let me just show you guys. That's what happens. Usan does this a lot. And I'm, I'm sure I'll show you guys and when I edit this up. Jesus Christ, bro, my inputs are all messed up. That, that's 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 that, that's uh, pretty much the the answer to that. The face down or standing four. It's amazing. And the good thing about doing this is you have no risk. When you throw out this move, you recover. Like you have enough time to recover and you know avoid getting punished for throwing this out. Then to counter the row, of course, you can do stuff like um, forward, forward two, you dash up back three. Like that. The hell, dude. I forgot how to roll upwards, guys. Forgive me. Forgive me. You can also do stuff like forward, forward two, dash up down one. It's good. Or you can also do forward forward two to the raw raw mix-ups. This is also good. I love doing this as well. These are just some tips on forward forward two, guys. It's up to you guys. Let your imagination run wild, run wild. But trust me, these are very optimal um, forward forward two tips, and they will give you the most efficiency. Like trust me, guys, they're really good. Moving on okay number three let's look at bob's down forward two now down forward two is a counter hit launcher i'm sure you guys know this is bob's classic down forward two uh from taken six the infamous down forward two so basically you're using this move defensively and offensively offensively to fish defensively basically turn the opponent you know stay back keep out two you know zoning two like i said before so let's start with offense some tips to use this move on offense so the first thing you want to do is use it as a frame trap. Uh, I explained about frame traps in previous tutorials. Please check it out. Like I said, I don't want to make these videos long, so I'll try to. So I'm just trying to speed run everything. Okay. So one four to down four two on hit is a frame trap. So basically, you can press buttons after one four. So I'll try to jab after one four. I get launched. It's a trade, of course, but it's still a frame trap. You still get the jug of the words, dick jab, of course. Uh, you can't step right, but you can step left. You can step left, so be careful. And sometimes you can actually backdash it, depending on the range of the punish. Uh, there we go. So be careful, guys. But half of the times, you're not gonna get stepped. Trust me. I mean, you're not gonna get backdashed out of. So this is really good. It's the safest route. When you begin, when you're facing a good player, start with this because you tested them first to see if they're respecting you after the punish, or they're disrespecting you by pressing hella buttons. Okay. Um, another frame trap involves back two two to down forward two. This is a frame trap as well. Let me just show you guys. Bing bang boom. Try to jab, I get launched. That's a frame trap. It's really good. This is actually really good on block as well after just back two. Because we all know this string, guys. The Bob classic the Bob classic string is basically mid-high, mid-high. Mid-high, mid-high. So when you do this, 
basically yeah, just basically fishing like the opponent usually try to instant off standing four like they try to duck the second hit and instant off standing four so that's where the mix up comes in this works a hell of a lot guys trust me on block it's not a frame trap but it's like a good pseudo frame trap it's really good try to use it once in a while but don't get too <laughs> risky with it or you know you get magic forward or some shit okay um another frame trap involves the row one i record sorry the row one to down forward two there you go it's a trade again but you know it's a launch in your favor it's really good because this hits a lot guys the row has a low as well so they usually duck a lot so this hits most of the time so if they're not respecting you you counter hit them if they respect you that's when you go low i'll talk about the row in a separate section of the video but you know this is part of a frame trap as well they intertwine so you know that explains it um, another frame trap is down back two on hit to down forward two this is a frame trap as well bing bang boom it's really good down for two uh, down back two sorry is a really good poking tool as well i'll explain about this as well uh, in different session of the video and another frame trap of course is cannonball or super side missile into down for two this is a classic let me just show you guys because i believe in showing uh just sure you guys believe what i'm saying okay they try to dig jab there i got launched so this is hella good as well uh moving on let's see stand guard okay so like i said out of fort fort 2 it's good to throw this out as well uh but this is not a frame trap guys like i explained before so just be careful uh use this with your jab pressure now this is very strong bob has one of the best jab range in the game like his jab reaches really far so abusing jabs basically irritates the opponent so that's why you throw out the down forward two now like because they start they start dig jabbing or pressing random down forward ones that's why you want to throw this move it's really good as you know uh a cancerous pressure poke into it's really good guys trust me um so those are basically the more practical frame traps of bob like bob has so many mids so many mids that you don't get to use all his moves but the ones i've shown you are the most like basic practical frame traps that you'll be using like 80 percent of your matches like seriously to be honest with you bob has so many because i believe stuff like you know the headbutt down the, the back one plus two to down forward two is also a frame trap but like who uses this in neutral like you rarely use a headbutt but you know if you really want to use it 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 works as well so the headbutt to down for two on hit of course guys it's a frame trap you have um down one as well but you have to crouch cancel this down one on hit to down forward two is a frame trap like that but you're basically better off using like you know all standing one plus two because it's also a frame trap as well so like i said guys it's basically those are basically the more practical or the most efficient uh down for two frame traps or situations you really want to throw it out but like i said it's basically a fishing tool or a keep away move as well so use it use it a lot like use it, it's safe guys it's a safe mid 13 frames so i mean there's no reason why you don't want to throw it out and one other thing i want to talk about is bob's um down for two into like duck like when you face an opponent for the first time try to test them out when you throw this out a lot of people have a tendency of jabbing back on block after i throw this out and bob has one of the fastest crouch animations in the game like he crouches really fast like bob can do instant off standing moves really fast so he, like he, this man can literally duck a jab and launch it because this is 14 frames as well so like i said when fighting a new opponent test them by doing down forward two and digging immediately then launching them it will work a few times but then they'll realize it then they'll stop trying to jab afterwards it's really good trust me guys believe me this is basically down forward two there's not much more i can explain about this move moving on exo 
Okay, number four, let's talk about. Um, okay, let's start with Bob's raw mix up because I believe this is something really underrated that Bob has that's hella good. And if you guys know, lo, not low high, if you guys know Usan, then you know exactly what I'm talking about. And if you know what I'm talking about, we're talking about Evil Japan, the Lero Evil Japan, and I'm sure you guys know the match I'm talking about. That match against Chikurin just showed how strong Bob Zero is. If you haven't seen that match, please, um, I think I'll show it in the video as well. But uh, Usan pretty much just showed the strength of the Raw. The Raw is godlike. It's actually absurd on, on, on offense. It's good on defense. It's decent. But it's, it's crazy. It's crazy on offense. And I'm going to talk about this a lot. Okay, now Bob lacks laws. Like except from down back three, his only other good law is the hell sweep. That's why that's why he's a huge he's a high risk high reward character. And the raw also has a law, which is a launcher on 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 hit launches on hit as well. Okay, so now every time you use the raw on offense believe me you 80 percent of the time your opponent is going to duck because like trust me who, who no one wants to get launched this is just basically free damage guys and no one wants to get launched and that's why the mids come in these are basically free mids guys trust me they're basically free mids because half the time your opponent is not ducking so you get a 21 percent mid which is a homing this is really strong and you have uh, uh, a one. This is a raw one, which is a counter hit launcher, of course. And what I love about the mid as well is you can recover and crouch by holding down back. So you can do crazy stuff like you know uh, into the strings, into like the grab. Just get creative. It's really it's one of the most fun things about Bob. It's his raw. Alright, so now some tips about this mid, this raw. Let me start with defense. Let's get defense out of the way. So basically, the raw on defense is, like I said, it's a cheap uh, Korean backdash. Because Bob has an awful sidestep. His sidestep is really bad. So they kind of gave him this raw to make up for it. Because this, trust me guys, it gets out of a lot of stuff. Stuff like Eddie mix-ups, uh, Huarang pressure, Fakumram strings. You know, murder tackle. This thing is godlike. Just avoids the shit out of everything. So you can use this to annoy your opponent. You can use this to kill time when, like, you know, you're playing a time game. Time is running out. You have the life lead. Just start rolling your way to victory, my dudes. Um, stuff that leaves you minus nine, face blank. Like, let me down forward one. You just roll afterwards to avoid eating mix ups. Like, imagine doing this. Then getting Leroy Hill suit right, so you can just do this and dash backwards, it's easy. One four on block, dash backwards, like I said, uh, forward for two. Just get creative, know when to use it. Usually, when you roll backwards, half the time, a good player will use that opportunity to go in and initiate their pressure because you're basically giving up your turn and recovering. So, they usually uh, pressure you by using wall running moves. So usually to counter that, if you notice your opponent is doing that a lot, you want to counter that by doing row into standing four. So basically row backwards and mash four. Sometimes you get the float on them and you know, punish them for trying to get a new, like depending on the timing. But you have to be careful because this is risky, you might get launched. You know, you get hit by Fakuma running three, that's free damage. So that's basically the row on defense. There's not much to it guys, I'm sure you know where I'm going with this. Now on offense is where I love this thing, because firstly Bob has moves that can transition to his row. You guys all know down for one plus two, it goes into the row. Uh, one plus two goes into the row as well. I believe this is the only moves. Um, am I tripping? I mean he has this, but you know it's kind of a troll. <laughs> NBC uses this a lot, but it's kind of a troll. So yeah, so basically. Uh, you want to use this row in the neutral uh, just in the, basically neutral guys is a good time to use this move uh, a good player will try to interrupt you but this rarely rarely happens 
But if you're caught in a situation where you're, you're facing off against a really good, a really strong opponent that knows how to interrupt this row, use the row one a lot. Because the row one is the faster of all the moves that come out of the row. Between the low, the mid, and the high, the row one is the best choice. Because this, like I said, is a counter hit move. So they, they are basically risking themselves by trying to interrupt you from doing your row. So it's kind of like a fishing tool as well. But if they respect you, that's more reason to start mixing them up now, guys. Like you can literally just play safe the whole time doing this with Bob. It's kind of crazy. Actually, I love doing row one into row back. <laughs> it's kind of fun. Or oh, this into row back. It's kind of trolly. So yeah. And like I said, you can cancel this. You can cancel it by pressing up or down back. So usually I love doing stuff like this. Just mix up their timing, like mess up their timing, guys. Row into cancel, down back three. This is good. Row one four. Row down pod one. Usually when you do stuff like this, guys, they are recovering from crouch because they are afraid of the law. So in a situation where they'll crouch and do an instant outstanding move, that's where this move comes in, the fishing tool. Because you might counter hit. You might land the counter hit for free. So yeah, love doing stuff like this. Uh, you can get creative. The hell sweep. Uh, you can go for the throw. Cancel, do the, the strings in the low. Like, just get creative, guys. It's really fun and it's really strong. It's really practical. I'm just not talking out of my ass. This stuff works. It's the same thing with the transitions as well. You can do stuff like this. It's really strong, guys. It's really... Bro, you have no idea how strong this, this thing is. It's actually crazy. Oh, yeah, you can also delay the fall, by the way, guys. This thing is really crazy. Look at that delay. Look at that. It's crazy. <laughs> it's crazy. So between the delay and the cancels, you are definitely in your opponent's head, guys. This row is strong. Do not sleep on Bob's row. It's a huge part of his gameplay, and I believe this is very... It's underused by a lot of Bob players. I won't speak any names, because, you know, I don't want to get in trouble. But yeah, it's really underrated. Another way you can implement his mix-ups is by doing this after like pokes. So a punish like one one two into the row. Because first of all they're not stepping because you have the two, which is a homing move. So you can do this into the row mix-ups. Uh, how am I doing? Stuff like that. It's very strong. It's very strong, you know. One for the row, down one the row, down back three into the row. It's amazing. It's amazing and I believe I've gotten my point out. So guys, again, do not sleep on his row. Please, please, please utilize it. It's very strong. Moving on. All right, number five, let's look at his lows. Um, so his lows, Bob does not have a lot of lows. So I'm gonna look at down back three, his hell sweep, and his row four. Okay, and this full crouch, um, the string, the law, because I mean it's a, it's a bit useful. I'll look at this as well. So those are basically Bob's laws. Um, he has he has up for three plus four as well. I'll talk about this maybe. I'll talk about his one down four. I'll talk about his down four three four. So those are basically Bob's uh, laws. More others are more useful than the others. Okay. <clears throat> Oof. So guys, forgive me if I'm getting like um, my inputs wrong, like my move inputs. I'm basically speedrunning this. I'm not scripting. It's not scripted or anything. I'm just trying to make this as short as possible while giving you guys a lot of information at the same time. So forgive me guys, but I'm sure you guys understand. Stick with me. Stick with me. You've made it this far. Let's keep going. Okay. So down back three. Down back three is amazing. The range is, is decent enough. Uh, it's kind of like Fakumram's old down back three before it was nerfed. It's got good range. What I love about this move is like most of moves that standing moves that have no high crash properties, like Jin down back four, Fakumram down four, those kind of lows are usually risky. 
because you are at risk of getting counter hit by like opponent's magic four or like counter hit twos. But what I love about this law and Bob is because Bob has such amazing jabs and his pressure is insane. You're usually going to get this law a whole lot of times. Like it's not that risky because Bob has insane match control. So this law is a must use guys. As a Bob main, you must throw this law a lot. Or else you're stuck with the risky stuff like his hill sweep and his down back, you know, 3 plus 4, 4. I'll talk about this move as well. I kind of forgot about it to be honest with you. So down back 3. Now this move is amazing. Like I said, uh, the best times you want to use it is in neutral, you know, down back uh, 3, dash in, down back 3, jab, jab, you know, down back 3. Uh, one four down back three on one two down back three because the thing about on one two is it's got a frame trap by four this is a frame trap magic four so opponents really respect you so you can do stuff like that one one two to down back three and this move has amazing tracking as well guys let me just show you guys Tracking is decent. Look at that. It's really amazing. It's really good. Do not sleep on this low. So it's basically just a low poke, guys. There's not much I can talk about so I can say about this move. On counter hit, it's a knockdown. You get back three guaranteed. Uh that's it. That's basically down back three in a nutshell. Moving on, let's talk about his hell sweep. So Bob has a Mishima hell sweep. Uh, it's kind of, you know, a fat ass hell sweep, like Steve would say. Uh, nothing much I can explain about this move. It's got decent tracking, just like a hell sweep. It tracks to your left. Um, it tracks to your left side. It's got trash tracking to the right side. So you usually mix this up with, like, you know, forward forward two. This is a mix up. Uh, you also got the recent buff in season three, where they gave him this weird looking move. Uh, it launches on screw. So this is basically Bob's cheap version of 50-50. Like unlike unlike um, Mishima's, like Mishima's have a safe mid launch move. They have a forward forward three that launches on mid and it's safe. So they gave Bob this, but it's punishable. He has a high version for the second hit, which is safe, but the second hit is a high. So you can usually mix the two up. So that's basically Bob's 50-50 guys. The hell sweep and these moves. You can also do stuff like uh, instant wall standing 1 plus 2 from the wave dash. Which is a, uh, it takes a little bit of practice. It's not an easy thing to do. I'm actually, I actually do this better at P2 than P1. But it's really good as well. Ni loves doing this. Because this thing launches on counter hit. So you know. It's not a bad thing to throw out, but this takes some practice, guys. So if you want, you can use this. Uh, I can do wave wave into size the point plus two, which is a safe mid. You can do the the fireball, the Hadouken. Of course, it's a wall bounce. Basically, you use this move at the wall more in, more, the, more so than in neutral. And another thing about the whole sweep is you can hella delay the shit out of this move. Usually Bob's do this, which is very expected. This is a normal hill sweep. But if you delay it, you mess up their timing and get the hill sweep off. Nani? There we go. That's basically the hill sweep, guys. So you can do it in pressure. You know, uh, just mix them up. Wave, 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 hill sweep. That's basically the hill sweep. There's not much to explain about this you know you know get creative okay let's talk about his raw law this is one of my favorite laws so like i explained before it's a launcher you can get very decent damage like 60 percent which is good and you can delay this move so not much i can talk about this move as well i can say about this move but there is something that makes this move hella good and it's the Oki. Like this move is <laughs> as an Oki move, it's kind of crazy. Alright, so let's talk about this law, right? The normal combo, like I did, was this uh, so this is basically the normal jungle you get from doing the law. 
but if you do the law again from that juggle you can get a reset like if they get up if they don't stay on the ground like if they you know they get up from the juggle you can relaunch them like you get a reset so let's show you guys you can do this stuff like that so basically the opponent has to stay on the ground if they don't want to eat this that's what makes this law so strong so you can mix them up by doing stuff like this ah my bad uh, uh, uh. Uh, that's if they stay on the ground to get the max damage but that but the but this thing is launch punishable so if they get up you're getting you know getting launched but you can always do the mid which is safe and hits grounded as well that's basically the mix up and the roll law in a nutshell there's not much I can say about this law moving on um, this is a classic Bob law now this is a law many players forget about me included it's a law that not a lot of bob players use me included because it's just very it's awkward bro it's very clunky as shit and it's awkward looking it's just it's wrong i wish i'd give it a different animation like they just change the animation but you know it is what it is so basically you just move i don't know i really don't know because some situations it whiffs where the first hit lands but the second one whiffs or sometimes the first one he whiffs, the second one lands. It's a very awkward move. But just just use it in neutral, guys. In neutral, especially at the wall. At the wall, this move is cancer AF. It's really strong. But it's it's launch punishable, guys. Very risky, like Bob is. So yeah, it's just, you know, spam uh, the, the The decent frame traps this move has on block, on hit, is the headbutt. This can be interrupted, so you can do this. You can do down forward two as well. If they press anything, they get launched, but it whiffs. If they backdash, you might get punished. Uh, forward forward two is a decent move to throw out after this as well. The raw mix up, of course, very strong. <laughs> I love the raw mix up. So that's basically the, the down back three plus four guys. Not much I can say about this move as well. You basically know where I'm going with this. The rest of his laws are very niche. Uh, stuff like down three. This launches on counter hit though. If you get it on counter hit. But it's a low high. So it's very risky. I don't actually advise using it. Uh, I guess good players. Uh, down four, three, four. This is a round ender. Use this at the end. Like if the opponent is on a pixel. It's a good thing to throw out. Uh, same thing as up forward uh, 3 plus 4. Now I've seen a lot of ball players use this in neutral, you know. It's a decent low, but like I said, it's very niche. It's not something that's very efficient, guys. But, you know, it's it's up to you, to be honest. I don't use it. I don't use it. But if you feel like using it, then, you know, go ahead, guys. Go ahead. Uh, and the last but not least is uh, one down 4. Now this is just a poke into. You know, like I said, Bob has toxic jab pressure. His jab pressure is legit insane. So that's where this, you know, the extension comes in. It's just a different, decent poking tool. And lastly, we have his full crouch low. Now, I love this low because it has a mix up with the mid. So test their reaction, guys, because a good player is going to low parry this. So test their reactions. If they low parry, just stop doing it. If it's at the end of a round, it's a very good low. You can do the whole thing. Or you can throw out the mid as well. Ah, my bad. That is a very good wall break or so. So yeah, that's basically the Bob's laws. I hope I got a lot of stuff right, guys. I hope a lot of stuff got to you. Because like I said, I'm trying to speed run the hell out of this guide. So yep, moving on. Alright guys, now this is going to be the last section of my video. Because Bob is one of those characters that has a shitload of mids that are really good like they are so practical to the point that if i were to make this a poking tips guide it wouldn't be called a poking tips guide it would literally be called a bob tutorial because it could be over to be honest with you it can be over one hour 30 minutes because of how good this man's mids are so what i'm gonna do is i'm trying i'm trying to go into i'm going to try and compact every little mid 
for every little move that I've missed and try to explain it the best I can as quickly as possible to give you guys an idea of how good the meat is. Let's start with Bob's new move, uh, season 4, his 15 frame launcher. This move is new and it's really insane. Bro, this is a 15 frame launcher at point uh, range 1 to range 0 with punishab. So stuff like jab into backdash is really strong with Bob. You can basically do stuff like this into into the backdash, you know, uh, down forward one into backdash. Like, bro, whew. like even on with recovery, if you guys know Lero is back three, then you know exactly what I'm talking about. This move has like zero recovery to the point that you rarely get punished by just throwing it out in the neutral. And this move actually makes sidestepping with Bob really worth it now because before you, you couldn't really step with this character because he had no launcher like basically you'd step and do stuff like this uh like this which was really niche because this thing is like 18 frames some shit is really slow but now you have this it makes high stepping really strong with this character so guys do not sleep on this move it's really good so basically a punish and a whiff punisher uh, so stuff like down forward one, backdash, jab, backdash, you know, that's basically his new launcher. Okay, moving on, up forward one plus two. Now, I talked about his rows and how to use them. It basically applies to this as well, everything I talked about involving the rows. But I want to talk about just the, the high extension and the mid extension. So... Usually the counter to this thing is opponents usually instant. They duck and do an instant outstanding move. So let me just show you guys. Uh, so I'll do the high and the roll. My bad. So the high and the roll. So 50-50. Okay, so now the best way to, to counter this is by doing an instant duck to an instant while standing. This will beat both options. But this does not take into account the while standing 1 plus 2, 1 plus 2, because this thing is launch punishable, and Bob players never throw this out. Like if you main Bob, just don't. Like, just don't. Or just, you know, rarely, like super rarely. Because you can delay this. So it's good in a way, but it's launch punishable, guys. It's too risky to just throw out. Anyway, so like I was saying, instant outstanding options beat like both options, the mid, the raw, and the high. So just to show you guys. Ah, I was a bit slow. Jesus Christ. Yo, what? Nani? Like that. I'm, I'm just standing up a little too slow. <laughs> a little too slow. I'm just a little too slow. I don't know. There we go. Okay, there we go. But it's risky. <laughs> it's risky like I've seen, guys. It's risky, bro. I actually didn't know it's this good. Wait, what? Okay, okay, because like in my, in my honest opinion, I faced a, a, a really good Fakum Ram that did instant all standing three every time I, I did the, the, the raw mix up or the high, and it beat both my options like half the time he did it, but apparently it's strong to go for the one, oh, that's crazy. This is strong guys, <laughs> believe me, this is strong, I just taught myself something and you know, it usually happens with these guides bro, it usually happens. So that's basically with up forward 1 plus 2, but this is basically a whiff punisher at best. The whiff punishing capabilities of this thing is insane, and the range is crazy. You basically just want to punish everything, guys, with this thing. And the good thing about it is you can always cancel it. If you're not sure, you can always go for the high, or just a row, you know, row into the, into the 1. So it's really, really strong, guys. It's really strong. Moving on. Uh, let's talk about Bob's wall bounce. Now this thing, eh, I wish I chose a wall stage. But this is basically a wall bounce. At the wall, Bob is insane. Because he has the health with Vortex and the mid fireball, which is Hadouken. Uh, you can also go for the 
side step one plus two, which also was plats. So basically, at the wall, that's where Bobby's mix-up game it really comes alive. It's crazy. Between just these two moves, bro, go insane. Like go nuts, go nuts. Uh, that's basically the wall bounce in a nutshell. Moving on, let's talk about some of Bob's safe mids. That's just safe poking mids. He has a shitload. He has a shitload. He has down one, uh, two, uh, two one. This was buffed in season four. It's now safe. So it's really good. You can do stuff like off standing four into two one. This cannot be interrupted and it's kind of. Um, oh, it cannot be interrupted and it cannot be stepped. It's basically a frame trap. Uh, same thing goes for down uh, back one plus two. Jesus Christ, back one two. This thing is safe as well. Mid mid, very good neutral two. I love using this after the super size missile. Now I won't talk about the super size missile, guys, because I did a tutorial on this already. I'll leave the link in the description. Please check it out if you're if you main Bob. It's really strong, and you really have to check it out. Like there's no excuse. So I love doing this into the mid. This is safe mid mid. Uh, what else am I forgetting? He has forward forward 3 plus 4. This is 0 on block. Leaves opponent on crouch. So you can do stuff like this into 1 4. This is a frame trap. You can do forward forward 3, which is a safe counter hit mid. There, safe counter hit mid. Uh, let's see what else we're forgetting. Um, I know Bobo the uh, back four. Oh yeah, back four. This is good. This is really good. You can you have the mid and the uh, the high and the mid. And this thing you can. This thing launches on counter hit, so it's really good. I don't believe it's safe. Uh, not set. Am I tripping? Ooh, it's safe. Bro, why don't I use this move a lot? Honey? Oh, he doesn't launch on counter hit. This used to be his odd bound. I thought it launched. Oh, I'm thinking of Leo. My bad, guys. I think I'm officially tired now. <laughs> Alright, this is his Obito. Uh, this is... Ah, it's a very niche Obito because the input is awkward. It's a back back 4 input, so... You're not using this as a mix-up. You're using this on wake up, like just like how can I explain it? Like uh, all standing one dash up back back four. I really do this a lot. Even the rows, guys. I really do this. That that's really strong. Let's just go for this. Yep. So back back four is niche as well, but it's decent enough. You know, just throw it out. Otherwise, you'd be with you, you'd be with punish. Just throwing it out randomly like this, but it's really good. Okay, moving on. Let's see. Ooh, his power crash. I almost forgot. Bob's power crash is, if not the best power crash in the game, it's fast as hell. And the best part about this thing is that it crashes highs. Look at that. So it crashes highs, it knocks down, and it's super fast. And it's a power crash. This thing, to be honest with you, bro, this thing should have been launch punishable. Oh, this minus 14 because it's really strong. It's really strong. At the wall, bro, Bob is, like I said, at the wall, Bob is a beast. So you can do stuff like this at the wall, get the wall splat, uh, down back two to this, you know. Getting out of Warang pressure. Guys, if you're having trouble with Warang as Bob, <laughs> this is a saving grace. It goes under jabs. It basically goes under almost everything Warang throws at you, except a law and his power crash cancel. This is anti Warang for days. Use this always, 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 always. I can't stress enough. Moving on, um, what else? Bob down back two is a decent poke. Uh, I'm just kind of throwing it out there, you know, it's nothing too good, too special, but it's good. Stuff like one four down back two, but you're better off throwing a down back, a down forward two, cause it's a it's a counter launcher. 
That's why I say most of his meads are good, but they are niche because you know they have better means that cover way more purposes. Like, why would you choose to throw this out rather than this? When this will give you a counter hit launcher, while well, this does nothing on counter hit. So, you see what I mean? That's why I'm kind of making this speedrun of his moves because a lot of his moves are just like this, but they are useful in a way. Uh, down one, this has insane range and decent tracking. It's just kind of like a neutral two. You know, stuff like this, you know. Two one, like that. It's just a neutral two, knocks down on counter hit. Uh, nothing more I can say about this move. Uh, what else? What else? What else? Ah. No, 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 no. What am I forgetting? Down for one, of course. Alright, I think that's pretty much it with Bob, guys. Pretty much it with Bob. Bob has so many mids, it's insane. I, I just literally can't go through everything, guys. It's, it's that crazy. But he's a very, very strong character in Season 4. If you're thinking of picking him up, just do so. He's a tournament character of mine. If you guys haven't seen, I won a tournament recently with Bob. Oh, I used him in one of my matches. He's a decent, he's a very good tournament character, guys. His his poking ability is insane. His control, match control is crazy. That's basically Bob in a nutshell, guys. I hope this tutorial wasn't long enough. I hope I got some things across you that was not useless. Ah, guys, <laughs> speed and wait speed and weight use this man he is strong i might have forgotten a few things but like i said bob is just too well-rounded has so many useful stuff it's up to you to really go crazy with your imagination but what i showed you guys is the really is the efficient stuff and the most useful stuff i hope you enjoyed my guide if you did please leave a like and subscribe and yeah guys um gg